Hi, kids. Okay, on this day in film history, 4 August 8th, start with the film, uh, just one today we'll talk about, and that is in 1986 is the release of Stand By Me, Rob Reiner directed film uh, based on Stephen King short story, The Body. Controversial opinion, but maybe the best, best adaptation of uh, Stephen King source material. Maybe? I don't know. It's definitely right up there. Um, you got Will Wheaton, River Phoenix, Corey Feldman, and uh, Jerry O'Connell are your four friends. Never had friends like I did when I was 11. Is that the line? God, who does? Um, quite a run here. This is the start for Rob Reiner. Uh, in the next six years, does five films. So there's Stand By Me. Then he does The Princess Bride, another classic with a different type of audience. And then there's uh, When Harry Met Sally, which is slightly shifted audience again. And then Misery, which could be entirely different audience, but all the same audience. And then A Few Good Men. Those five films he made in six years run consecutively. It's pretty Hot run for Rob Reiner, for a meathead anyways. Uh, let's talk about some birthdays. 1937 is the birth of Dustin Hoffman. That's right, 1937. That makes Dustin Hoffman 87, 86? What's my math on that? Dustin Hoffman's old. Uh, of course, Midnight Cowboy. Remember the first time I watched Midnight Cowboy? I thought, oh, he's doing like a young Pacino thing. And then I realized that he's doing young Pacino before young Pacino. Um, also, The Graduate and Tootsie and Kramer versus Kramer and all of those things. Little big man, Dustin Hoffman, happy birthday. Uh, another birthday in 1967, uh, Lee Uncritch. Uh, he uh, started out as an editor at Pixar worked his way up, also worked on story, uh, was the co-director of Toy Story 2 and Monsters, Inc. and Finding Nemo. Then he got promoted to director, uh, first feature for Pixar as a director, uh, was Toy Story 3, and then he did Coco, and then he left or retired from Pixar in 2019. And then in 2004, let's talk about some deaths, uh, the death of Faye Ray passed away today, if today is the 8th. Uh, she was 96 years old. Uh, Canadian-born Faye Ray, of course. She is primarily known for being one of the earliest screen queens. Uh, King Kong, um, 1933. I've done a, a video on that film. Uh, and then there's the Western Association of Motion Picture Stars they used to issue this thing in the 20s uh, of these are your upcoming starlets, the stars to look out for. Fay Ray was one of those. Usually they didn't all pan out and actually become stars, but Fay Ray. Uh, 2013 is the death of Karen Black. Uh, she was 74. She died of cancer. Uh, part of the New Hollywood movement, uh, she's in the Easy films, that being Five Easy Pieces and Easy Rider. Uh, she's also in Nashville, but who isn't? Um, she's kind of known for independent film and genre film, featured in a many a horror movie. Uh, Karen Black, kind of her own entity there. And then uh, let's talk about in 2022, just last year, was the death of Olivia Newton-John. She was 74, died of breast cancer. Um, her gran grandfather uh, was a Nobel Prize winning physician or in physics, won a Nobel Prize in physics, physics uh, Max Born. Uh, smart man. Smart man name, isn't it? Um, of course, she was uh, started out her singing career. She had some hits, um, mostly non in the U.S. Uh, until about 1974. In 1974, she was in the Eurovision Song Contest, and she placed fourth. Uh, the number one uh, winner that year was a band called ABBA. 
I don't know if you've heard of them. She lost ABBA. Uh, and then 74 was uh, also the release of, um, what is it? I Honestly Love You came out in 74. And then, of course, uh, Greece comes out. She's 30 in Greece, but then again, uh, all of the cast are pretty old playing teenagers in Greece. Um, so, yeah, and then, of course, uh, Xanadu, many others. Uh, her musical career, uh, she got physical in 1981. Uh, Olivia Newton John. Uh, okay, that's it for today. Uh, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. See you tomorrow.